fans are really important to the horror community and even more important to Kane himself. So we've met some really fantastic fans along the road while filming this, and while we don't know what's going to make it into the final cut of the film, we wanted to show you some highlights from some of the fans that we met on the road. Take a look. Kane, I know, was bullied by several, and that's the way it seems like it always is, and I was bullied by several. There's never just one person, and it just feels good to talk to someone, you know, that's been through all the same struggles, and it really, it made me feel good when I talked to him, and I told him that I'd been bullied, and he would, um, he told me, he came up and gave me a hug, and we both had tears in our eyes, because we could kind of understand each other. What he went through, and where he's at now, it's pretty incredible. Very surprising the first time I met him that he would actually be as open to fans. Even a couple people in line ahead of me, just how he was talking to them. They'd ask questions, I'm sure he's been asked 80 times a day, and he still answers it enthusiastically as much. But he's still got that snarky asshole attitude that, that you love about it, which makes it perfect. <laughs> I'm here to shake the hands of a man that's killed hundreds. I thought it would be a lot, it was a lot more calming in my mind than I thought it would be, because here you have a, a giant horror icon who's murdered hundreds of people, and meeting him in real life, it, it, it's nice. It's, a, it's calming almost to watch the movies again. Yeah, I personally thought meeting him would be a little scary and everything about that, but he was actually a really nice guy. He's very nice, and he's all about the fans. I'm going to get in line to meet him just now, so I'm pretty excited about it. We've been waiting three years for it. We only came because we knew he would be here. I have uh, Jason from, uh, from Park 7. We've met each other many a times. We've actually dreamed about each other a couple times. He's got uh, the charisma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's the man. He's just a badass. I was admiring the necklace was looking at it and he's like, I want you to have this. And he took it off his neck and put it around mine. He remembered me every time. So he said, oh, hey, you know, here's a guy that can survive the chokes. So I'll still choke you even though. So I like, that's cool. I never was choked by him yet. He's the only one I'd let choke me, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see this big, strong figure, a guy that was a stunt man who became an iconic character. I, I never thought that he would go through the same situations that we grew up when we were kids. I think he had said he had went to like Home Depot or something and like made, picked up a bunch of machetes and he was signing and autographing. And it's just a story he told about walking through Home Depot with a bunch of machetes and nobody questioned him. It was really funny. He brings characters to life in horror. Do whatever you can do to become Jason again. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of these other people playing Jason. I'm tired of other people's perception on how he should be played. Become Jason again. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Please check out the links below to get to our Indiegogo page and contribute whatever you can. We really appreciate it.